Hey what's up guys, so as you all know, April 1st is the only day where it's socially acceptable to pull pranks on your friends and make everyone mad at you just for the sake of comedy. Because remember, it's just a prank bro. So today I've got a few of my favorite pranks that are easy to do and still very funny. For this first one, we're going to need a bottle of coke. Now unscrew the cap carefully, then grab a mento and a needle and some string. Now thread the string through the mento. It sometimes helps to heat up the needle a little bit to make it go through easier. Then place it inside the cap like this. Now carefully screw the cap back on the bottle while holding the thread and then once it's on trim down the string. Now it looks like a normal bottle of coke but when we unscrew the cap the mento drops in the bottle and the victim gets blasted with a jet of coke. I also tried stringing a couple mentos together to get a bigger jet. Alright, so keeping along the lines of soda, for this next one, we're going to need a bottle of soda and some jello that matches in color. I chose orange for this one. All we need to do is mix the jello powder with the soda. Be sure to do this slowly or else it will overflow. Now shake it up and throw it in the freezer for about an hour, and then put it back where you found it. Now when your victim tries to drink it, it will come out all gooey. Now if you want to make this into real jello, try adding up the soda or some water a little bit, then pour it back into the bottle and let it cool. This makes for a really cool drink that is a great surprise but actually tastes good. I do have to give some credit for this prank. This inspiration came from a video I saw where someone who sounded like Kermit on some very interesting drugs made it and it looked really cool. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen this video and if you have, you know what I'm talking about. So I thought it would make a cool prank. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Alright, moving on to this next prank, we're going to need access to the victim's phone. Now even if you don't know the passcode, you can still set alarms and stuff for like 4am in the morning, and you can also sometimes text through Siri. Now if you know their passcode, this is where it really gets fun. You can go ahead and change their background to a picture of a cracked screen, like this. Uh, I'll throw a couple pictures in the description, so when they turn it on, they'll freak out and think their phone's broken. For like a couple seconds, then they'll realize it's fine. And while you're at it for a little bit more fun, go ahead and change their contact names, change the autocorrect to some funny phrases. And maybe even change the language. So moving on to computers. If you don't know their password and you're on a Mac, well you're in luck. Check out my how to hack a Mac video I did a while back, right here. It's a great prank and it allows you to change any Mac user's password without knowing what it is in the first place. Alright, now that we're in, take a screenshot of the desktop and set that as a background. Now hide out all the folders somewhere so they're not in the desktop. Now when they try to click on the icons, it won't work and you'll be there laughing. Now while you're at it, why not change the cursor size, speed up the mouse, change the colors for some bonus fun. Alright, for this last one, we're going to make a Febreze bomb and rig it up to the door. For this prank, grab a bottle of Febreze and a zip tie. Put the zip tie onto the bottle just tight enough so it can't slide around. Now grab a clothespin and clip it to the end of the trigger. Now pull very tight on the zip tie and add a few rubber bands just for good measure. Now attach a string to the clothespin. Then we're going to attach the can to the wall next to the door. If you have a shelf, go ahead and put it on that, but I'm just going to use a little tape because these pranks are meant to be done easily. Now tie the other end of the string to the door hinge or attach it somewhere on the door and you're good to go. When the victim opens the door, the clothespin will be pulled out and the handle of the Febreze can will be stuck down and it'll spray everywhere. It kind of leaves a mess, I'm not going to lie. It should be a good minute before they figure out what happened and find a knife or something to cut off the zip ties and the rubber bands. Trust me, it's a great laugh. Well, that's it for today guys. I hope you liked this video. Remember to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. So good luck to you all with your April Fools. And if you do any of these, try not to get punched in the face. So that's about it for me. So I'll catch you in the next video.